In this session, we will learn about arithmetic sequence, arithmetic series, and geometric series, how to find the first term, and uh, how to find the common difference, and how to find the number of terms in the given sequence of series. So our standard for the day is uh, identifies arithmetic sequences, find specified terms of such sequences, and determines the sequence given the first term and the common difference. Our objective is students will be able to find the nth term and arithmetic means of an arithmetic sequence. So this is a concept map. So what is the definition of an arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers whose terms all differ by same non-zero number. And the formula for our arithmetic sequence is at the n term of an arithmetic sequence can be found by using this formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 and where a sub 1 is what? It is known as the first term plus n minus 1 d and d is what? d is a common difference and I will explain to you in detail when our questions will be coming on the upcoming slides. So I've given you some examples over here. If you look at this first uh, sequence over here, now there is negative 2, then 1, then there is 4, 7, and 10. It's kind of easy for you to figure out from 1 to 4. If you add 3 to this 1, it will become 4. And if you add 3 to this 4, it becomes 7. And if you add 3 to the 7, that becomes 10. Now you can come back and check when you add positive 3 to negative 2, it will end with 1. So you see between all of these numbers there is a constant difference this means there is we are adding plus 3 on each of these preceding terms to get the next upcoming terms similarly in this sequence over here you can see there's a difference of uh, 1.5 so what is uh, 7.5 uh, you can do like this uh, 9 minus 7.5 is this number 7.5 minus uh, 1.5 is 6 6 minus 1.5 is 4.5 and 4.5 minus 1.5 is what is 3. Now I have given you some non-examples also. If you look in this one over here, you can see uh, there is not the constant number. Over here you are adding 1, then you are adding 2, then 3 and 4. This is a non-example of arithmetic sequence. Similarly in this you are multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2 over here. That's not your arithmetic sequence. Because uh, what is arithmetic sequence where d is what? It is a common difference. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Now I want you to copy these notes in your notebook over here. So first definition is of sequence. So what is sequence? Sequence is a function whose domain is a set of all natural numbers. The term of a sequence are the range elements of the function. In a sequence when you see different terms, First term is will be yours a1, second term will be a2, a3, a4, and it just keeps on going. So if I want to write a general sequence over, I can write it over here, a1, a2, a3, and keeps on going. Now what is your arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic sequence an arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first a1 is equal to the sum of the preceding term and the common difference t. The term of the sequence can be represented by, so our first term is a1, but what will be the second term? Second term is what? It is equal to the sum of the preceding term. So the second term will be what? Sum of this a1 and plus t over here. Next will be what? a1 plus 2d and it just keeps on going. So what is the common difference? Common difference denoted by d and the formula for d is what? Second term minus first term. Similarly, your formula for D can be also like this, A3 minus A2. Similarly, it can be like this, A4 minus A3. And this is how you find the common difference. Please go ahead and copy this, uh, these notes in your notebook. Now, there are some more examples over here of your arithmetic sequence. You can check it. Now, I will just go over the first one with you. First one you can see over here. What is this? So, your A1 is what? A1 is yours, 1. What is your a2? Okay, let's go. So, what is your a2 over here? Uh, a2, you can see you are adding 4 over here. 1 plus 4 is what? 5. So, what is your a2? If you go back to the previous slide, a2 is what? a2 should be a1 plus t. So, what is your a1? A, a1 plus t. Let me write it like this. 
So a one is your one. Now what is your d? How you find d? You can subtract the second with the first one. So if I have to find d over here, d is my what? Five minus one. D is what? Four. It might come in your mind. How about let's take these? You can take these also. It will be seventeen minus thirteen. What is your d? That's your four. So that's your what? Common factors. A two is what? Five. So you can see over here. A one was one. A two is five. Similarly, I can do a three also. A three will be what? A three will be. Let's go back and check over here. It was what? A one plus two d. So it is what? A one plus two d. Now what is your a one? That's your one. What about your common difference d? D is your four. And what it will be your a three? A three will be yours what? Nine. You can see over here. You can check for others. So this is how the arithmetic sequence works. Now let's uh, let's look at this question over here. I want you to pause this video and read the question and try to find the answer for this. Question states: If I gave you a nickel the first day, two nickels the second day, three nickels the third day, and so on, how much money would you have after a month? So I want you to pause this video and find your answer. You can use any technique. You can use a calculator. You can use you know, manual math. You can do it and find the answer for this problem. I believe now you 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 are having answer for this. So in thirty one days, I'm just giving the final answer. You can check how much you got it. So question was saying if day one, you can write day one you got one nickel over here. This means five cents. And day two you will get ten cents. Day three you are having extra one fifteen cents. Day four twenty cents. It just keeps on going. So on after thirty one days, how much how many nickels you will be having? You should end up with four hundred and ninety six nickels. And which is equal to what? Which is equal to twenty-four point eight t cents over here. So this should be the answer you should have got. If in case uh, you don't agree with my answer, just check with me, and we might look at this. So let's go to the next problem over here. Our first question is says make sure you copy the question in your notebook. It says find the next four terms in the arithmetic sequence. So what I want to do is instead of just guessing. We will use our uh, formula and our mathematical approach to find our answer. So, what is your first step? First step should be okay. Let me uh, hold on. Let me write this. This is your. This is your a one. This is your a two. This is your a three. So, what we have to find? We have to find a four. We have to find a five. We have to find a six, and we have to find a seven. So, what is your a four? A four. You all know that's yours. A one plus three d, and a five will be what? A one plus four d. And a six is what a one plus five t, and a seven is what a one plus six t. So it's kind of easy for me. What is the value of a one? A one is my first term. I have negative seven. But the problem over here is I do not know the value of d. D is what? D is my common difference. And how do you find common difference? You know the formula. Formula is d is equal to what a two minus a one. All right. So what is my a two? A two is my negative five. There's a minus sign. What is my a one? A one is my negative seven. So let's do some math over here. This is your seven, and this is your positive two. So what is my d over here? My d is positive two over here. So what will be my answer? So it will be negative seven plus six, which will give me what? Negative one. Okay. Now what about this one? It will be now. It's kind of easy for me. Negative seven plus four d. I can so it will be my positive one over here. Eight minus seven is this one. So what about this one? It's my negative seven plus five times two, and that's my three. And what about this one? Negative seven plus six times two, twelve minus seven will be what? Five. So my next terms, next four terms in the arithmetic sequence are what? Those are my so. I let me write the uh, sequence. Negative five. That's my negatives. So negative seven, negative five, negative two, three over here, and my remaining terms are what? Negative one, positive one, three, and five. So this is my full uh, arithmetic sequence over here. Or these are my next four terms of this given arithmetic sequence. So I wanted to pause this video and check whether all of these and numbers are correct or not. So everything looks good over here because if you see common differences too, so see, so this means if you are adding plus two to negative seven, you end up with this number, and if you add plus two, you will end up with this number. 
if you add plus 2 you will end up with this number then plus 2 gives you this and then plus 2 gives you 3 plus 2 gives you 5 so we our answer is correct let's proceed to the next problem i want you to pause this video and i want you to solve these problems on your this problem on your own and once you're done uh play the video and then see your answer with mine but before you do before you pause the video let me uh, write something for you this is your a1 that's your a2 and this is your a3 so what you need you're looking for a4 you're looking for a5 you're looking for a6 and a4 for a7 and what is the formula your formula is a1 plus you see this 4 over here this means it will be 3d you see this 5 it will be what 4d 6 means what a1 plus 5d and 7 means what a1 plus 60 go ahead and pause the video and solve this problem so my next i just did the math for you i found the common difference over here using my formula as i did in the previous problem and i just plugged in the values over here so this is my 15 plus 6 this is a 21 this will be your 26 and this will be my 31 and that's my 36 so these are my remaining four terms so my sequence will be 6 11 16 comma what 21 26 31 and 36 I, I hope you got the same answer if not you can copy from here let's proceed to next problem now again it's a similar problem over here it says find the next four terms i want you to pause this video and i want you to uh, do as i've done on the previous slide over here so you can get a better understanding of the problem so we are doing the same thing so this is what a1 plus 3d and this is what a1 plus 4d and this is what a1 plus 5d and a1 plus what 60 over here so only thing what you need is you need is your common difference d and the formula is a2 minus a1 so our a2 is negative 7 put the minus sign negative 15 okay and use your calculator for this negative 7 plus 15 which will give you what which will give you positive 8 that's your d so what you can do now is you can just plug in the values over here and i will pause the video i want you to do this problem on your own and find your answer on your own so this is my answer over here but while i was uh, checking my work i figured out this uh, sequence is wrong it should be positive one over here once it is positive one uh, it will make sense to you okay so our final answer is negative 15 negative 7 positive 1 9 17 25 and 33 i hope you also got the same answer if not go ahead and copy the solution uh, this is the next question for your practice purpose. I will not do this problem and I will not give you the answer for this. I want you to do this problem. Once you have done, please check with your buddy uh, what the answer they got it and share your answer with your buddy. Okay. So let's go to the next one. So my next problem is says find the next five terms of. Uh, now in this, now you will see I have included constants as well as variable in this. But our procedure will still be same question says find the next five terms and this is yours this is yours a1 okay and that's your a2 and this is yours a3 what you need to do is you need to find a4 now instead of five what i'm doing i'm just doing it next two terms okay a4 and we are finding a5 also what will be yours a4 a4 will be a1 plus 3d and a5 will be what a1 plus 4d so what you need over here is let's go ahead and do it so what is my a1 a1 is my a minus 6 plus 3 times d i don't know that's my a minus 6 plus 4 times d which i don't know so let's go ahead and find our d what is your d our formula is still the same a sub 2 minus a sub 1 so now only thing what you have to do is in this case you have to use a parenthesis because this is a binomial over here so when i do this 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 sign will change minus a plus 6 so a and a will be cancelled out you know those are like terms so they can neutralize each other and this is your 4 over here so this is your d d is your 4 so only thing what i will do is i will type 4 over here so what will be the next step it will be a minus 6 plus 12 now you can use your calculator over here this is your a and this is a negative this will give you what plus 6 so this is yours four term over here similarly i'll write 4 over here so this will be yours a minus 6 plus 16 which will give you what a plus 10 so this is your next term over here so these are the next two terms in this problem 
so our next question is this one over here please make sure you are copying all the question in its entirety don't take the shortcut copy everything write the first five terms of the sequence defined by now we have been given a general formula of the arithmetic sequence a sub n is equal to 6 minus 4 n is this an arithmetic sequence explain so question is also asking from us is it an arithmetic sequence explain what what you will do in these type of situation is uh, they gave you a sub n so what you have to find first of all you will find a1 then you will find a2 a3 a4 and a5 so what is happening over every time is this is this number over here this is your value of n okay so this is a for this is a general formula over here so a sub 1 this means this is your 1 and n n will change to 1 over here so let's go ahead and do it so what is the formula a sub n is equal to 6 minus 4 n all right or 6 minus 4 but what is the value of n that's your 1 over here so what 6 minus 4 is what 2 so this is answer i got it in this case what is the value of n that's your 2 okay so this is your 6 minus 8 will give you negative 2 what about the third one again this is the value of n you have to compare with a sub n all right n is 3 so 6 minus 4 times 3 that's yours negative 6 in this case 6 minus 4 times 4 because your n is your 4 in this case okay so 16 this will give you negative 10 and this one is 6 minus 4 times 5 so it's your 20 my uh, 6 minus 20 is what negative 14 so we end up with these first five terms over here these are first five terms which we came to know now the question is asking second part is this an arithmetic sequence how you know whether the given sequence is an arithmetic sequence only thing is let's first of all write these numbers 2 negative 2 negative 6 negative 10 and negative 14 only thing is your d common difference should be same so what i'm doing is i'm checking for two i'm checking for first two and i'm checking for this one also if these two numbers are same then i will say it is an arithmetic sequence otherwise not you can go and check for others also if you want okay but i'm just doing for a sub 2 is negative 2 minus 2 give me what negative 4 what about this one negative 6 minus negative 2 so which is negative 6 plus 2 gives you what negative 4 now do you see the value of common difference same in both of these yes so this is what yes this is an arithmetic sequence you can write it over here yes it is an arithmetic sequence because it has i'm sorry a common difference cdo equal to what negative four that's it so that's it for this session uh what i want to do is make sure you take the notes uh, properly and work on your worksheet using this uh, explanation which i have given to you in this video if you need my assistance please let me know thank you have a good day